Howdy students. In the last video, we talked about the emissions trajectories needed to stabilize the climate at 1.5 and 2 degrees. As we talked about there, the required emissions reductions were vast. In this talk, let's quantify exactly how fast we need to be building climate safe energy to meet these goals. First, we need to replace all of the fossil fuel infrastructure that we're presently using, which corresponds to about 10 terawatts of power. And we need to do this over the next 20 to 40 years. It will have to be replaced with climate safe energy, mainly renewables like wind and solar. Let's assume a middle case of 30 years, meaning that we need to be building 300 gigawatts of new climate safe power every year. But energy demand is also increasing at around 2% per year. This is because population is increasing and people are getting richer. This means we need to build an additional 300 gigawatts of power every year to satisfy this new demand. So together, we need to construct about 600 gigawatts of power every year, or roughly two gigawatts of power every day for the next few decades. And all of this needs to be climate safe energy. Now, just for scale, two gigawatts corresponds to the power output of a large nuclear or coal power plant or Hoover Dam. This may seem like an insurmountable challenge, but it's actually within human capability. To see this, realize that the lifetime for most energy infrastructure is around 50 years. That means that over the next 50 years, we're gonna to have to replace all of our energy infrastructure anyway, regardless of any climate policy. That already corresponds to replacing around 300 gigawatts of power every year, around one gigawatt per day. We also need to build additional power to satisfy the ever increasing power demands of the Earth's population. So this means that, give or take, we are basically already building energy at the rate required. We just need to make sure we only build renewable energy. Now, this need not cost a lot of money. Wind and solar are now cost competitive with fossil fuels. As evidence, this plot from early 2021 shows what types of power generation are scheduled to be connected to the Texas electricity grid over the next few years. As you can see, it's almost entirely wind and solar. This plot shows why this is occurring. It's because wind and solar are now the cheapest energy available. And note how fast the prices of these energy sources have been declining over the last decade. This is going to continue and it will be more and more true as time marches into the future. And that's why in the free energy market of Texas, producers prefer wind and solar power. Now there are some issues with things like intermittency for wind and solar, but those are solvable. Thus, climate change is not a scientific or a technical problem. We understand what's driving climate change and we can solve it if we want to. Rather, climate change is a political problem. Our elected representatives have simply decided not to take action to solve this problem. In the next video, we'll talk about what policies would be required to pull off a transition to climate safe energy. And now, your moment of dog. <laughs>